with joy. I welcome you. Let's turn our Bibles to the book of Matthew chapter 9. I will read from verse 27. When Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him. They were crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. And when he was coming to the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus saith unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this. They said unto him, Ye Lord. Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. And their eyes were opened. Jesus straightly charged them, saying, See that no man know it. But they, when they were departed, spread abroad his fame in all that country. As they went out, behold, they brought to him a dumb man possessed with a devil. When the devil was cast out by the Lord Jesus Christ, the dumb spake, and the multitudes marveled, saying, It was never so seen in Israel. Listen from now. The whole world will see what has never been seen. Jesus was sent to Israel. I am sent to the world. Jesus reached out to the people he was sent to. I am reaching out to the people I'm sent to. He said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. This gospel of the kingdom shall be, I mean, not just preached, but shall be made to enter into every nook and cranny of the world. This gospel of the kingdom shall reach every human being everywhere worldwide. He said, it was never so seen in Israel. What eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard, the thing that no man's heart has ever imagined, conceived, or believed as a possibility shall be done from now. Mark my words. Now, it was never so seen, but the Pharisees, the religious men, they said, he casted out devils through the prince of devils. Why couldn't they if it was so? You see, anytime somebody does something unique for the kingdom, the people who are religious will stand to oppose it, to talk ill of that. It happened when Christ came here. It was the Pharisees, the religious rulers over Israel, what we call the fathers of faith, as it were, the elders, those who had been in ministry even before Christ was born, they were the ones that said that Jesus was casting out devils through the prince of devils. If they knew so much, why couldn't they? And why, why couldn't they stop him? Now, Jesus who went about, look at it, verse 35. Jesus who went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when he saw, he went about all, take note of the word, all the cities and villages. Jesus went about all the cities and villages. Today, pastors, ministers are eager to go to UK, to go to US, to go to Canada. Meanwhile, the primary place of assignment, Nigeria, has not been reached out. Many villages, many cities, many towns in Nigeria have not heard the gospel. There are so many places where the gospel has not been preached. There are so many places in Africa, in West Africa, East Africa, Central Africa, North Africa, South Africa, as a matter of fact, too, where the gospel has not been preached. Yet we are running everywhere. Jesus knew where he was sent to, and he began from where he was sent to. He went through all the cities and villages. He was teaching in their synagogues. He was preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and he was in every sickness and every disease. Have we done that in Nigeria? Have we done that in our primary place of calling? Many of us have not, yet we are looking for platforms elsewhere. Well, I think we should begin at home because charity begins at home. If we can do what Christ is, teach, preach, and heal, I tell you the whole world will come looking for Jesus Christ. Well, 
When he saw the multitude, verse 36, he was moved with compassion on them because they were fainted and were scattered at brothers sheep having no shepherd. They had pastors, but they were so they had none. Today we have pastors and the pastors are still have none. People are struggling to see God where we are. Meanwhile, we claim God has sent us. That's not how it should be. Jesus saw the people that we are fainting. He was moved with compassion on them because they fainted and they were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Then said he to his disciples, The harvest truly really is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send for laborers into his harvest. This is one of the prayer points Christ gave us. As a matter of fact, in the Bible, in Matthew, Christ gave us only three prayer points. One in two places, but only three prayer points. Today, people are praying all kinds of prayers. Unnecessary prayers. Prayers that Christ never approved of, never sent us to go and pray. You know why? Because um, we are inclined to be religious. Just like the Pharisees, they were so prayerful. They fast and prayed. <laughs> Yet they had no power to do any work. They were occupied position wearing very great clothes. So I'm putting on suit now. They were wearing very powerful clothes. Yet people were dying under their nose. The people were fainting. The people fainted under them because of lack of strength. The people were being destroyed. They were scattered by the scatterer, the devil, and all, this, all of his agents, and they couldn't help them. Christ went about healing. Not one of them healed. Casting out devils, not one of them. Opening the eyes of the blind, not one of them did that. What am I saying? Time has come when we should wake up and do what we have been called to do. We are here to address man's problems, to meet the needs of people. And I pray to God from today, you will wake up and let's do this job. In the name of Jesus Christ. The people are sick. People are suffering. People are poor. People are naked. People are thirsty. People are just living under the oppressive, wicked rule of the devil and his agents. And the church appears to be helpless. You know why? Because the church is powerless. I pray today that God will empower you. I pray for my life, God will empower you from today that you will have the power required to minister to the needs of people and to set them free. In the name of Jesus Christ. May that be your story. Be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I'll see you in a nice short video. I want to do this most more videos for me. Peace.